All right, rogue trader time. We are going to land on Dargonis because it has been invaded by Dukari, if I remember correctly, right? Blades and Void return to Dargonis, yep. Uh, compass that I still could have tried doing, but um, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, let's go down here and try to deal with the situation. No, let's, you know, let's do some colony projects while we're here. <laughs> Just being invaded and then order from high <laughs> comes down and just like, okay, can you guys build this? <laughs> actually, before we actually land there, uh, let's check our other colonies. Janice is done. Ah, that's just the reward for like the replenishment. I was like, why is that happening? <laughs> okay, here we go. Something over here. Yeah, because we got Dreamless, which is some efficiency. So we could get some Plasteel. Okay, we have to decide one of these. Iron Eye Grenade is a, you know, way of reducing armor. Cool. And it's cheap. Cheap, useless, eh, useful. Useful, generically, Sportor is plasteel, but very expensive. I already grabbed this, so... Thanks between Lair and Holy Servitude. I do wonder how much these decisions have any kind of like story weight to them. Right, because it seems like a terrible idea to actually like set up a, pro a pirate base in your <laughs> next to your criminal uh, storage location. It's just, this item is so useless, right? The fact that these are only once per combat, if they had like maybe three charges per combat or something, I think it'd be a lot cooler, but. All right, we're gonna do this one. We haven't done a pirate thing for a bit. Let's lead into our criminal past here. Two Prometheum is fine for two prop factor. Weapons, we don't really need weapons right now, but we'll take it. And some prop factor is nice. But also, these grenades at least are in the category of useful grenades. Um, kind of speaking of that, though. Yeah, we've got a bunch of these frag grenades. Also, I should probably level up Argenta. But let's just quickly replace some of these things. We already have an area attack, but also we don't have a necklace still for this man. <laughs> oh, we just don't got necklaces. Yeah. Also, just just have the better ones. If you actually need it. <laughs> yeah, it's eighteen to four. Yeah, just much better. Oh, you know what? Take this one. Okay. As for us, I think this is, we don't need that. Um, I already have cracker dates. Let's just grab stim. Actually, I think we're pretty, let's just get the, uh, Now we'll do something. Okay. Now we'll land. Yep, we're bringing in the squad. Avalard, I guess, is. Like, Avalard probably isn't essential per se. Um, but I'm kind of liking how everyone else is. Okay. I hate going here. Tech, I guy just have like 28 spirit stones on him a dial. <laughs> nah. You interrupted my looting, Clementia. Is the walk animation really necessary? 
you, you could have talked to me over the barrier. <laughs> Praise the throne, your lordship, you're here. Your subjects need you more than ever. Cool. Yeah, okay, hanging her quickly was the correct plan. Our guard has been hit by a mass Xenos attack. The fleet's resistance was broken in mere hours, and the invaders commenced a planetary raid. Planetary defense forces were able to hold their inner perimeter for several cities. Two of the attacks were stifled in approaches to the settlements, but the fight continues here as well as in the palace. Where is Achilles, Skandalar? I thought I'd see him here by your side. His whereabouts are unknown, but... Under normal circumstances, he hardly ever set foot outside the palace grounds. I'm sure you realize what this could mean. Rukari are after living victims of all, of all, yeah, above all else. Why would they waste their forces assaulting a palace they, when they could be storming another city? Alas, I don't know the answer. Your lordship, when the Xenos attacked the place or the palace, they sent their force so great that increased warden presence and defense perimeter were wiped out in minutes. By the throne, whatever we were looking for in there, they spared no troops to get their hands on it. Give me details. Attack began a few hours before dawn. Uh, they attacked the fleet first. That makes sense. Um, you guys got caught. Okay, you may have sent out the alert. That's good. So we ground troops are mobilized. Several hive cities managed to hold the perimeters. Others, you know, two cities have been completely devastated. Uh, that's just, let's be, begin details has been damaged as soon as we're done here. Indubitably. As soon as the situation plan is stabilized, in addition to our own territory, serious damage was done to a deficit of Ministratum Department stationed under Argonus. I hope this won't lead to any kind of accusation against House von Glancius. Drive stem. Where is he? Currently in a well-fortified bunker, as the heads of the other noble houses. Still, each family has provided all available resources of defense with Argonus, or rather the defense of their respective regions. What's the current situation? They're in the planetary defense force. That's like, <laughs> I'm like the file type. Uh, the process of exterminating uh, the enemy force on the planet. Extra batteries have been signed to assault on the palace, but without a strike force that can make it inside, we won't break the resistance. I feel like it's the anchor point for the raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Transmission, report from squad two. When Lieutenant, Lieutenant, we not repeat you what? Emperor helped him. Man, sucks that they're laser proof. Ah, hold on, guys. Let, let, let us organize here. <laughs> Alright, I know you guys are dying, but, 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 hear me out. Loot. Okay. Can we talk to any of these guys? Okay. Oh, Sergeant. Yeah, he can't talk to you. You're not a real person. Yeah. I cannot believe it. In the entire history of the Von Valencia's Protectorate, there has never been an attack on the capital world. Being the first and being the best are often one and the same, so my uncle taught me. Looking at the rogue trader now, I am not so certain. Huh? I'll wipe you from the face of the galaxy! The sound of frightened prey. Oh, okay. tantalizing. How's our initiative? Pretty good. We should be fine, okay. So we don't need to do the huddle strategy. Question is, will this break my line of sight with everything? Hmm. Okay, then we can move on our turn. Heinrichs. Okay, so those guys will be going, so we do want to have a lard up ahead. Cool. I know, we're being a little bit haphazard here, honestly, but I think that's fine. Okay. 
All right. I should probably quick save. Should have saved during the placement step, but yeah, it was fine. Okay. We know how this goes. Ooh, do we do more drain? I think we're already to the front line. No, oh, apparently I can't get myself in that. Oh my god. Why is, like, this mechanic is very annoying in a lot of certain ways? Okay, well, unfortunately we'll just murder Abelard that way. Um... Let's try... Hmm. Oh, god damn it. I did not want to move out there. Oh well. Um... Why well, ain't that the bee's knees? God, that is so bad. I've made such a bad error. <laughs> okay, well. Forge ahead. Sure. You know what? All too easy. Why not? I'll take it. No, oh, he exploded from the health damage. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, what the hell happened? Malice drives me. <laughs> My faith strengthens me. Thanks, Sergeant. Uh, I think it is proper to kill this witch. Okay. Okay, one. Two. This can't be. Trace. Alrighty. Any is no, well I can just murder you, okay. Well that's what I'll do then. Why does that one get so much more damage? I understand Don't your intent. And with this one, sorry, I'm doing ammo management. <laughs> you will pay for this cool. in blood. Good job, Juliet. Warden. Yeah. You know what? I was going to criticize your action, but good job. Day. Weapon at oh, the shit. Ready. Maybe I reposition skill. Hell yeah. Good job, wardens. You did far better than I expected you to, honestly. Oh. Now nah, you're fine. Okay. Heinrichs, you know how this song and dance goes. Ah, rip cast. Oh, there we go. Yeah, our turn one of Heinrichs is of so Lord silly. Captain. For the throne's glory. Really? I won't object to it. Oh. Now, the question is, does this naturally? Not perfect. Have opportunity. Cool. 
Only because it's attack. I was like, do debuffs count? Right. Uh, shoot and kick, I suppose. We'll shoot this one. You get the fuck out of here. Ah, I, I was kind of hoping you'd die, but close enough. Okay, well, since you know we got the whole squad laughing as they say, let's just obliterate their Emperor, souls. Give me strength. Uh, you know. Enjoy. Let's just eye blast them. Oh my god, they're so dead. Bye bye. Oh no, they took half damage. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Because we can always just run it back, as they say. Hmm. You know what? Isn't this is the serves? That whole bar down. And we'll send Heinrich on the warpath. Cool. Alright. So. Let's see. I'm you're going to need this to be useful. Okay. Mm. We have six Irene right now. But of course, Lord Captain. Can I hit you guys with this? How much damage does this do? 94 to 283, ain't bad. Agony. What a pleasure. Uh, are they all dead? Oh my god. Well. Let me just, uh, get Let's this, I guess. Two. Yeah, take that. Hey, Pascal, is it possible for you to hit someone? It is. Okay, well. You might be having a bad day here. Well, you can dodge. That works. That does significantly extend your lifespan. You know what? You know what? Okay. Enjoy. Onward! I was like, is this warden you're gonna get to kill? Like this one rolls. <laughs> Silly, you know, it's... Our trap. Well, you know, they put up a fight. It wasn't a good one, but they put up a fight. Kind of. Oh, let's go dismantle our own defense systems, question mark? Operation. Yeah, grenades. <laughs> It's very funny, just like, oh, well, let me go disable our defense platforms. <laughs> okay, no, it has own spirits, so that's how say. Oh no, my chapel, it's been desecrated. I guess there's just like take the blades and then like the worst ones. Here, we'll keep on you. There we go. It's been a bit since we got a large amount of money like that. It's a little motorbike. We need to investigate. Oh. Also, let's save because this is going pretty s swimmingly. Uh, I guess that was the last hard save.
Oh, yo, is that good? Oh. For some reason, it's stored our position as uh, scrolled down. There you go. Follow my lead. See, we can't disable that. How's it going, Mr. Dead on the Floor Warden? Ah, he's out of mine. That didn't go as I'd hoped. What? No, my soul. Well, you know, it's the thought that counts. It's about time. I don't need to heal this, but I will, anyways. You are authorized. Ah, back into the fray. There you go. I did fine. I was like, okay, I've got at least one coin. Just a very loaded coin flip here. <laughs> How much XP do we need? We're okay. Don't even think about it for now. Your species is aware of mutilated forms of the other size wisdom. Does anamorphic Versace veneration of the Deus Mechanicus exist in your culture? We venerate it for the smith and craftsman. But he is nothing like your ugly deity. He has never sought to replace our souls with wraithbone sculptures. See, those are ones of like good life. Like the interaction ones are like the ones where you just randomly click on them and then they yell for approximately like twenty seconds is like the lie. <laughs> New challenge for me. Oh, oh, Cesara, how's it going? You mouthful monkey, putrid vermin, you'll pay for every moment I've spent on this pitiful planet. This is it, the true face of the Dark Ones. Her anger at you is so great that she has shed her mask and revealed the beast beneath. Little Asayuni, the monkey's obedient servant, try to survive is the future, and then the two of us will have plenty of fun. Aren't you glad to see me? Oh, now that you finally arrived, I'm full of anticipation. Anticipation of skinning you, blah, 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 blah. You know, Dukar stuff. I suspected you and a trueborn cur working together. He did not make me and my sisters linger here on a whim. He had a reason, and the reason involves you, yes? Is that it? Just tell me, just nod, so I can stand between the Archon accused of a treachery and compromising the raid. The calls between false allies is a favorable sport for Dukari. After torture, that is. He's clearly enjoying the sight of the rage. What if I say yes? Then I will say I've had enough of each other's game. Praise to be the second game, so. Oh, Sorry, I'm getting some text here. Okay. Nothing immediately need to answer and cool. Um Ooh, Tazara does go. But there is a non-zero chance that we can just like incinerate her. She has 300 health actually, so that's actually a little bit difficult. But still. Not completely insane. Um Actually, we can just sit back here. That's fine. Avalard's actually up here pretty soon. Okay. We'll give this one a shot. Alrighty, alrighty. We know how turn one goes. Uh, should I just...
We're gonna go on the offense with it. Ah, uh, stupid. Actually, I should have done this first. Okay, cool. Alright, he's running combat look as this one. Now he can respawn this one. Take more damage. Suits my purposes. Backline. You can be used. Nothing I can't do. Okay. I really only got one? What? That was odd. Oh, that, that kind of sucks. We'll take some pot shots. There you go. Can't be bad. Alright. This tedium is beneath me. If it serves your cause. Okay. Oh my god. I feel like this has happened with every main boss. Not every main boss, but like a good number of them. We've missed a lot of 95%. <laughs> well, that sucks so much. Okay. Well. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. There, at least we did some damage. But like, god, that's annoying. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we're not going before Heinrich, so... Can I? I can't. Okay, cast it. I have read tomes of military tactics. You're gonna have to dodge here. Right. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. You've unleashed my fury. Engage the eye beam. Okay, if if Yulrit had hit her shot, she would be literally dead. But slowed helps a lot. She's mainly focused, so slowed helps quite a bit. Bow to me. Also, that person is yeah. Cool. Interesting addition of this turn. I mean, out of this round, I suppose. Um. Well, let's fire this off over here. Did she die? She did. She died to 14 rending damage, and then because she was in the zone. She was in the zone. Okay, I was like, huh? <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, well. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Uh, let's just go on the offensive. Ah! Oh, less unfortunate. Let's taunt these guys and just go parry. Ah! Because these are melee characters. Not let's get to it. Oh, how you dare you insult my citizens? Good turn, good turn. Do you have something that gives you... 
I understand giving yourself one bleeding to get power from pain, but uh, is there a reason you need 20 stacks of it? <laughs> Can I shoot over this cover? I can. Cool. Yeah, Pascal. I know your range isn't that great, but this fact is pretty dismal, so we're just gonna AoE attack that one. Um well, Tazar's already dead, so. Mark the heavy. Um Beyond the Sire knows all. Comprehends all. And some buffs going. Cool. Now we have that probably coming. Uh, I think we're just gonna area attack. You are doomed. Well, I hurt the important one. We do get our one AP back, so. <laughs> it's damage. High momentum. Yo, is that Han momentum? Yeah. Naturally. Uh, what are we going to do with you, buddy? They're going to have all of their guys go, so. I think we're going to go kill. No, that witch is taunted or stunned. Okay. Off yourself, Heinrix. Oh no, I bet the word of the Emperor. For the throne's oh. glory. Oh, do I have to also? Hmm. I messed up her turn horribly. Alright. Oh, we'll just have to make the best of it. Oh, I can't even charge from here. Oh my god, I've messed up so much. Worst Hydrix turn ever. This is pathetic. Asked to leave the function. Let's see. Use two AP to get up here. Okay. No. A work for a flesh Let me educate you on the art of pain. I'll see our foes obliterated. Get her free attack. Okay, I was gonna say, oh, at least what it. Ah. Good turn, good turn. You definitely have turns to waste on this. Let's make it quick. He's gotta hit go. us at some point. Oh shit! Actual damage. <laughs> oh no, Avalard's temporary HP. Hold on. Let's get to it. Cool. Um, we're honestly fine just kind of chilling here. We're just gonna actually shoot the hell out of these guys. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. Hello. Let's do that. No, eventually I'll get the ordering for this correct. Oh, I should have done the ones I'm about to shoot. I'm silly. Okay, now my character has actual damage. Use these guys because I have no reason not to. Not a problem. I like it. Oh, I was about to say, it did hit the guy in front. 
I will take three kills. That gives us, yeah, a lot of resolve. Okay. Hey, you are it. This time, don't miss your, like, big shot, please. It would significantly help my... Can I hit this guy? I can't. Alright, well, in that case... Well, it says kill, so I think I'm gonna just go for a kill. Not used to marker. Holy crap, two plus 95% misses. Well, I guess 94%. Still, uh, a smidgen unusual, admittedly. Uh, like, what the hell? Yeah, I guess poise to strike. We're just going to kill this guy, because why not, I guess. Yeah. Unfortunately, Yulriot does require the hitter targets to be effective. Which he's apparently just not. <laughs> Don't know why. But that counts as a crit, so I actually get my attack back. That's a good thing to know, that we could get an emergency attack that way. <laughs> okay, well, you know, we're going we're gonna to try it again. I understand your intent. There we go. Okay. Uh, who needs to die? Here, enjoy. This can't be over. Oh, it's over. Alright, how does... Yeah, the Wrath of God looks like that. Cool. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Just acid. Isn't this a job for the sir? Yep. Who's alive? Cavalite warrior. Nah, that initiative queue got a lot shorter. Warrior, warrior, and warrior. Okay. Well, Cassia. I hate to say it, but uh, you have been drafted for the war crimes. I'm a navigator, not a servitor. Oh no, the six damage we have to take. What do we even do here? I'll show Enjoy, you why navigators are feared. Can I even conceivably know? Okay. Well, nope, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. It will be done. Cool. At your beck and call. A hundred percent. I can't lose. No. Why not? I have not used follow my lead yet because uh, nothing has survived long enough for it to be worth it to use. But twenty percent damage is good, <laughs> right? I also forgot that we also get 20% damage, um, which is... Combine these, right, we can go on the offensive and do these two and get actually Avalard hitting super hard. I should have swapped to, I, th I think I have Avalard has a gun. I should have swapped that. Okay. Hey, Avalard, guess That's what you're going to do to this point. old man. How a bunger. Right. Yeah, are you the last man? Call the bold and then shoot this man. I'm just gonna do a single shot. They don't want it to overheat. Function successfully terminated. Nope. Oh. Yeah, so what I was saying with our characters being very strong. 
It's like, I completely whiffed Heinrich's big buff turn, and he's the, like, one who gives us so much more damage, and, uh, still worked out more than fine. <laughs> Managed to hit Pascal with, like, exactly one bullet. Yep, just winter rifles. A tree. None shall stand in my way. I like how we don't get a like chance success there. Doesn't tell us. Oh. Uh no. Because ours currently scales off a of resolve. Which is uh you know significantly better. We shall prevail. We're off to loot the area. The wonderful area of Oz. I'll lay claim to the stars. Cool. I don't know if that does anything, but hopefully. Oh, an actual weapon. It's one handed and just applies continuous debuffs to like all of their relevant stats. That's uh, pretty solid. We could get a melee weapon. I mean, this is useful, but um, oh, it does so much more damage. But um, our weapon skill is actually so bad, though. I guess we could get Abelard to get <laughs> something like this. Make him a little bit more uh, melee capable. Let's see, if we had this, what would be our pistol? What does Fatigue do? Oh, we could just go for the deep. You know what? I think that sounds interesting. I know our melee is complete garbage, but it's something we can do in melee range. That is a very long one-handed sword. But right, our pistol does debuff. Our sword does debuff. And we'll just hold on to it for now. I mean, she could maybe use the long splinter rifle. It does have close enough range to uh, Starblight with a lot more ammo. You know, give it a shot for a bit. Because I don't think this only applies with, well, I mean, it uses a single shot, but, um, yeah. Also, something I wanted to quickly check before we go in is why do I have something empty on this hot bar? What's, what's going on here? She didn't have anything in her second hands. I don't know why it's even really popping up, but you're fine. Just make sure there's nothing that's got Mike's thrown away. Cool. Yeah, we're good. Heavy, do you have anything? No, just armor and a blast pistol, which we already have. Then just, you know, a guy with some crackers for the true end loot. I still, I was like, what's this lining arrow? I like how the combat UI sometimes just doesn't go away. <laughs> Alright.
Okay. What the off? Yo, is that Servitor, my homie? Good job. Thank you. I do like how in video in the CRPGs it's like one person needs to pass and then everyone else somehow manages to magically jump the gap. I won't tolerate weakness. Bodies mutilated and gutted once luxurious clothes and silk are complete okay, you know I can't read it because of the fucking circle I got. <laughs> once luxurious clothes of Baroque and silk are completely saturated with blood. Brocade. Over there. Um, hey. Well, we'll loot him. Well, also, yeah, I gotta get that XP. Oh, actually, <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the next enemies will not know what hit him. That I spent time jumping over all the ledges. My people are significantly more powerful now. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? It's a skill and a characteristic. Okay, that shouldn't be too long of a level, so we'll do this one on camera. Um, what the hell do we want? Um, actually, let's check. Let's go, let's go to the other characters first. You, really get, you can't get Lord Zeno's case, but you can get awareness, and awareness is good. So you're getting awareness. Easy level. You. What are we doing with you? Could do a ballistic skill. Toughness and strength get amps already super hard, but we are at 45 strength, so wouldn't necessarily be a terrible idea to get to 50 strength. Um, I think we'll do ballistic skill though, just so that we were starting out at a slightly higher um, value for that. But Jolie's useful too. Right, because we do have ways of increasing these. Right, because we do regularly get to two, which does put us above the, into the next threshold on like turn one, so not actually that important. I agree with agility. Okay. We got demolition, so. You have anything really worth. Not really. Yeah, your athletics is close. Alright, Pascal. Probably ballistic skill. Considering we're using the. <coughs> We've switched over from using them for a lot of melee to doing a lot more, like, shoot focused. Um, yeah, not an HLD, despite you having some things that might go with it. Yeah, I think this is a ballistic skill level. Um, well, we already got tech use. Do you have anything that's even comparable? Your Lord Xenos is comparable. Actually, no, Medicaid. You're, you're a medic. Master Tactician also gets skill. Um, probably Fellowship in this case. We don't really have a use for anything else. Okay, you though. We've already got Persuasion. How's our coercion? Our main character's coercion is high. I think we just go for awareness. Let's keep the. We have two very high awareness characters, means we should not miss much of anything. Because if you have one, you still are like, you know, you will miss 5% or whatever of things, <laughs> right, statistically. Uh, but if you have two ones at like 95% ish, you're like, the odds of you missing both of those is so small. Um, and then you still have like the lesser roles or other characters. Okay, what do we do here? We could go for the agility, but... I 
honestly think we go for the fellowship because we do have things that I think scale off of it somewhere in our build maybe we just have one thing that scales off of it We have exactly one thing that scales off of it. Well, it's probably better to do strength then and hit a little bit harder. But you know, we're screw it. we're at the threshold, and we don't have many ways of buffing up our fellowship. Right? We have Heinrichs to give this man iron armor if we really need it. Plus, he does have a strength bonus from the uh, Beacon of Might. So we'll do fellowship. Just get to that next interval. Um, probably carouse because we already have athletics. Okay, and now our character. What skill do we want most? Or Imperium. We're doing pretty good there. Um, let's see. Logic is, you know, our character's other specialty. We could bump up the Lord Xenos. It's becoming pretty useful, admittedly. We'll do Lord Xenos. Just because, you know, we're dealing with a lot of that related stuff. Okay. Um, let's see here. What do we want for this? I think Ballistic Skill. So we could do Weapon Skill, honestly, and just get up to the next, next threshold. 40 isn't... I mean, it's not good, but... It's not completely garbage. Willpower is also kind of relevant. I think I'm doing it. I think I am grabbing weapon skill just to have it physically possible for us to ever hit a melee attack here. Um. Yeah. The other real consideration is willpower. Just because it'll come up on more, like, checks, right? Which, you know, I think has talked me into actually taking it. Because, right, when you get those checks against, like, those, like, cutscene checks and that stuff, willpower is obviously going to become more relevant than your weapon skill. Just to bring us up to the plus four. Okay. Okay. We're not significantly stronger, but we are decently stronger. Crossed a couple thresholds on some things. And let's do what I presume is... See, I got Lorzinos. Excellent. That's going to be really funny if it blew up in my face immediately after saying that. Done. Xenos inside, we cannot stop them. Made Embry have Mercer on our souls. Okay. Um, quick save. Follow my lead. Yo, is that aristocrat? Crazy. Ah, I see. We have snake people. Who's there? I can't see. Thanks, aristocrat. Oh. Mazar, he, he's on our de desecrated throne. At last, I was beginning to think your lumbering bucket perished on its way back. Such a resolution would have better satisfied neither you nor me, would it? What? How did you will cease defiling a relic of the Imperium with your presence, Zenos scum? What? This abomination? With pleasure. But first, I will finish my conversation with your master, monkey. Oh, I can feel your anger, your rage, your pain from witnessing the state of your halls. I trust that you'd appreciate our efforts here. I could have long vanquished and vanished in the tangles of the webway without awaiting your arrival, monkey, but I could not refuse myself the small pleasure of savoring your moment of torment at the sight of what I had done to your home. Are you still with him, cousin? 
How fares your search for your lost family? Or is it being a monkey's beck and call occupying your thoughts and time? Yeah, I am glad we brought Yulia along, because she's obviously having a lot of interactions to Dukari. You will be silent, Dark One, or I will silence you myself. You deceived me! I'm not going to fucking whine like that. Why the palace? The sole thing your kind is good for, monkey, is your ability to suffer. I have long been suffering... Suffated with physical pain, your kin provided on abundance from their cages in Kamarag. The pain of the soul, on the other hand, is a rare delight. After all, I had to recompense you for all the trouble you've caused me. Recompense. Uh, however, did I not give you a gracious gift as well, that pesky meddling to Zara who harrowed your little worlds for so long? You have grunted her head, and I, a peaceful existence where she is not constantly in my way. To die at the hands of a monkey is the worst possible punishment for a champion of the gladiatorial arenas at Kamarag. Um, her final moments were torturous. She's under depression we were working together. What did you tell her? Hmm? That pompous face of skin thought I would associate with a monkey. I should not leave her deaf to you and instead cut out her heart myself. Still, to take note of my interest in your person was quite perceptive, even more so for a brainless area which arena which now that our meeting has taken place, my business here is done. I've spent enough time in real space, it's time to bid you goodbye. I don't want to leave you all alone. You wouldn't appreciate that, would you? Cavalites of the Reaping Tempest, I leave this monkey to you. Enjoy yourselves! It would have been so funny if he had just immediately careened into a pillar. <laughs> Wait, literally, physically, where did you guys come from? There's a lot of guys. Alright, what the hell are you? An interesting face, the beast master. Splinter pistols. Alright, uh, how is our turn looking? It's looking like the cube of indomitability is going to be the plan here. Uh, we're going to be on the outside so we can just shoot, even though it's a little bit sketchy. I am glad I've discovered the cube strategy, because it makes uh, turn one so funny when we are in situations like this, where it's like, all right, well, you know what this means. All too easy. Oh, I totally forgot. I haven't even been paying attention to strategic perfection at all, which possibly tells you about how uh, important it's been, but... Uh, it doesn't really matter, so we're just gonna Already done. put these down, just to have them for some potential repositioning purposes. Okay, okay. Is there a nice four I can get? This does not look like it. Oh. Nothing I can't do. Three. Okay, I'll take three. Because we do have the advanced tactics, that's still at least functional. Not a problem for me. Just shoot. A work for a flesh crafter. Not terrible. What are our armor values? Yeah, we're, we're pretty good. Okay. Well, we're not behind cover, so we're not going to use perfect spawn, <laughs> which does give us one AP freedom. Who goes? Catalyte Heavy, can I shoot you in the face? Why can't I see sight lines? Odd. Alright, we're gonna kill the Heavy, because why not? And he already is facing her thing. So we'll place to strike you. I feel foul breath. Cool. Always good to feel foul breath. Um. This tedium is beneath me. 
We didn't get the crit, so that's kind of unfortunate. But, as we've learned, this potentially allows us to get the crit. And we'll do this anyways. I am not your oh no, I should have actually used that. I should have used that. It's been a while since I've had to use that. If I must. No crit. Okay, well, we can use this actually. Uh, you know what? This thing will be alive, definitely. Your last stroke of luck. You call this huh. a strike? Did it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Did you see that? It hit the cover, so it bounced off this. Oh, that's so good. I did not even think that they actually had something like that actually implemented. <laughs> All right. Time to become the swollest Heinrichs ever has swollen. Um, what do we want to do here? I think... But of course, Lord Captain. There are a few guys, because... Yeah, your strength being minus 20 is pretty nice. Okay. Can I... I can't. I need a foothold. Cool, that's one. One kill. You get the hell out of here. Let me educate you on the art of pain. Yep, loses a turn. Cool. I will take that. I will happily take over killing you. Okay, who lit? We're gonna go over here. Oh no, Perry. That's no. That's pretty good. Okay. No, I, I, th I thought I was able to hit both. Okay, well. Um, we're just gonna do this. See if it hits. Good. And then I guess just Indeed. go up here, Abelard. Well and just start being annoying. <laughs> ah. Hanamenten is pretty good. Problem with Pascal right now is that he, things are usually dead by the time he gets to apply cut <laughs> down to pray to people because they're all dead. <laughs> okay, uh oh, we'll get this one. Alright, so obviously plan one is shoot this guy with probably just Claim the bounty. Right. Uh phase shift. With every second successful attack. Well if that's how you want to play it. And then a hundred percent armor. That would in fact do it. Okay. Running by Just shoot this man. Cool. Right, they have the natural armor thing, so the more we hurt them, the more uh they will, you know lose armor value, so just spam them. Hey Cassia, how's it going? Um, we kind of fucked things up, okay. What? Thank you. Cool. Isn't this a job for the serfs? to being ordered around. Okay. But 
Why why did you start moving? I mean, I'm glad, glad I put the landmine down there, but what? <laughs> that exhilarating speed. Oh. Huh. It just it just does that. Okay. And okay, that ate its phase shift, so actually we can just incinerate the, incinerate this thing now. Or no, it didn't. Choking me. Hmm. Okay, so you get more face shift. Oh no! Cool. Your suffering will sustain me. Oh no! One damage. How will we live? Dude, the cube is so funny. The cube of immortality. My soul hunger beckons. Okay. Let's see how they respond to this. So we're gonna just move this slightly. Just to get everyone involved. We're not using any of the other things, so it doesn't really matter. And did that? No, we're still working on this situation perfection. Okay. Yeah, I guess it is only turn two. Cool. I think I just... Oh my god, that's so much damage. Alright, don't kill your yet. Me. What's your biggest mistake? <laughs> Fucking icon. I'll pass. Nothing I can't do. There we go. Then I think we're just going to shoot here. Pascal can finish off that guy. That's offhand. Doesn't work if I have a two-handed weapon. I am fear incarnate. Let the true master inflict the pain. Interesting. You can use burst shot in close range. Why? I mean, I'll take it, but. I deal death with my hands. Yeah, just like all. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a guy there. Okay, well, this is behind cover, so. If it serves your cause. That crit, no, it did not. Okay, well. We will in my sights this one. Because so I will pin right through the armor. Alright, Heinrichs. Um, I guess you're going to go more to this thing. Um, so let's do a AP increase on Applard. Buff the hell out of Abelard. It's Hammer of the Emperor. Cool. Get over here. First and foremost. Naturally. Yeah, because we just needed a little bit more Ward of the Emperor. I oh, was kicked last turn, so we were good to use a shot. 78 versus. Yeah, the only real advantage of this is the fact that, like, it doesn't really miss. I mean, it was a prereq, I think, to get Hammer of Emperor, so it's fine there, obviously. I won't but... object to it. Yep, that's what I get for talking shit. <laughs> no, it's not very. It's only useful because it doesn't miss, immediately misses the attack of the other side. Yep. You know, in fact. It will be done. 
Victory is imminent. Okay. Uh, let's just sworn enemy. Cool. An exemplary strike. All right, Pascal, you know how this goes. Who even knows? I, I haven't even counted if it's on negation. Who cares? It's dead. Can I just... Ooh, I can shoot that guy and, like, almost kill Heinrichs. Most certainly. Okay. That's fine. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. You can do that, though. Just chuck one of these for just giggles. Okay. Um... UI sometimes is a little glitchy. Also, how much do you have, Mister? Forty? You're gonna get plus forty strength. You have a hundred forty. You have plus forty that. Oh my God! You're gonna be insane. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I just want them to live so that way they can smack poor Abelard. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it happen, because I wanna see it. We'll see how much damage we get on the parry. Good, good. Yeah! Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I know this is ridiculous, but I'm just doing it kind of for fun. Also, strategic thingy if it applied. Yeah, it's one of those things that, like, you don't really notice, but... Yeah, strategic perfection applied. So this one should have stronghold, right? Yeah, cool. Well, at least I can say it is working. Already done. I'm going for the Since extremely funny purposes. single shot. Yeah, fuck it. Twenty percent, but oh my god, look at that damage! <laughs> Much higher chance here. Oh, too easy. Yep. Yeah, you know, I think they did they do one damage? I think they did one damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. Our team is uh I know the game's been, like, patched, like, five times already for, like, nerfing people, but, like, Jesus Christ. Sometimes the game, it seems like it's an Elden Ring situation where it's, uh, almost a little too easy to, uh, break the game. <laughs> game sense of difficulty. Father, father, stop too fast. I don't know what the implications of that one are, but... We'll just uh, pretend it's nice. Are we done? Can we just leave? Search spells for survivors. Okay, I can do that.
Oh, is that loot? Ow, rip warden. Yo, is that servitor? It's not homie. Ow! Yeah, I was about to say, buddy, you don't stand a single chance. That was being cut off, Echelaus. I like how everyone has a backpack. Kind of preserving. Could it truly be you, your lordship? He was struck by excruciating coughing fit. Yeah. His hand grasping for his respirator on the golden chain. It's missing. Heinrich impassionately observes Achilles' torments. Then his lip curls he shakes his head. Poor show, Scandalar. How could you fail to notice the imp impending danger? Perhaps I was wrong to have had such high hopes for you. I failed your master von Kai Kalax. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll go here right now. We don't need to be overcaring. And also, uh, Hydrix has already made that part clear. That's fine enough. Um, here he has one. <laughs> Praise be Golden Throne, God Emperor, you're alive. Your Lordship, I'm trained to an immortal one for your swift return. People of Dargonus fought to the last, but the onslaught of enemy humanity was vicious and brutal. Yo, Pascal. His body's covered an unthinkable number of cuts and injuries. They put great effort in filling his every moment of searing pain. However, none of his wounds are life-threatening. Let's, let's heal him up here. Shouldn't have wasted your time on me, your lordship. It's fine. We literally murdered everyone else. There's <laughs> nothing that can stop us as far as I can tell at this point. All right. Um, I'm, you know, I'm saying that. We're going to just, like, get a horrible time. But, like, ever since, like, you know, obviously if we get ambushed, we can't form the death cube. But, like, oh my god, the death cube makes bad initiatives not be anywhere near as much of the problem. We have reinvented the phalanx formation <laughs> from first principles. <laughs> All right. Uh, not the, is it the phalanx? It's part of the Tetsudo, I guess. Right, it's the smaller square rather than just front facing. Anyways, anyways. Um, right, because we try to position our melee guys on the outside so, like, so they're effectively our shields from multiple directions rather than just front. So, anyways. What happened? Ports came from the orbit about the Xenos attack. It was a Ministratum Hall. In the Ministratum Halls, I was in the Ministratum Halls, resolving the matter of your succession. I rushed to my shuttle and paid to, got, paid to the God Emperor that I had reached the palace before they struck. Before I could get rid of the pics and documents I had gathered, the palace was besieged. Um, I had to take the risk and burn it all. The Xenos surrounded me when I was setting fire to the last remaining orders, and they'd, then they decided to have fun with me. It's a conspiracy via the bureaucracy to keep him occupied. Holy Emperor, deliver me from the memories. Why? I think they're Dukari. We don't need to. What'd you tell them? Nothing. But they didn't ask me anything. They didn't look for anything. They didn't so much as poke around the place. Strange. It is Dukari's favorite pastime to torture people for amusement. Or is it that you don't remember anything? And is there intent that you do not? That's a very good point, you Right? The Dukari do have, like, mind manipulation powers. And then we have Cassia here as well. We actually have such a good squad for this entire, like, uh, interaction scheme. Your hues are covered in a layer of suit and ash, Master Scandalar. I can see the loud bleeding colors underneath. May I put them at ease for you? You shall have a hand on the shoulder and It is a great honor to hear such words from Lady Arcelia herself, and still, I must refuse. My scars, both physical and spiritual, are a reminder of the mistakes I made, and my key to redemption. Were you able to glean anything? Oddly enough, I was. Kari had no idea that a mere adeptus and Ministratum secretary could understand their alien speech. Fair enough. While they were deliberating on how they were going to kill me, they mentioned that their monkey had been helping them all this time. Renegade pirates or something of the sort. I'll take time to identify the traitors humanity by giving my word they'll pay for what happened. Uh. I mean, failing to prevent the assault's a bit high there, but... Detect the assault preemptively would be fine, but right, it was kind of more than just his failure there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's enough talking, Achilles. I'll contact Clementia and have her summer Medicaid. Get out of this palace while you can. Ah, uh, Clementia. We're Serian. I have a weird habit of always, like, somehow misreading Warsarian as, like, Warrenstein. I don't know where I'm getting the, like, tea from. 
Thanks to your breakthrough, we were able to clear out the estate. Right now, with the aid of your ship's augers from orbit, the surface troops are sweeping the streets of the hive. Squads have been sent deeper in the city. Several units have been assigned. My apologies. Of course, you'll learn all this from reports. Your appearance on Dargonus was a boon from the God Emperor who has brought us salvation. On behalf of all Dargonus and House Versarian, I thank you for delivering us from our foes. I was doing my duty. By your will, you have preserved co countless lives, your lordship. Dark Goddess owes you a debt can never be repaid. You will continue to clean up the estate and the neighboring territories. We must deal with the rubble, the corpses, and any other after effects of the fighting. Southern forces will be enough to repel any sporadic enemy attacks if they are launched. According to the last reports, the Enos are pulling out in mass. If other matters require your attention, I won't detain you any longer. Please allow us to ensure Dark Goddess return to his former glory. Cool, returns to ship. Uh, Tolman has sent a message requesting audience. She's critical to support, deliver support, and she'll be waiting for you on the ship's bridge. Kill. Something of interest. Oh, we have new loot in the area. I mean, that's fine. Yep. People are being tortured, we know. Victory is there anything in here new? My success was inevitable. Is there someone hiding in your bed? I think that's well, the case. Doesn't, doesn't tell me, but that's just how it goes, I suppose. Cool. Then we can leave from here, right? It's about time. Negatory. We don't have the landing pad. Okay. Nothing's impossible for this old All officer. Right. We are going to go to the ship, and we'll just finish up this quest. Usually there's like an option to just like go straight back to the ship after you've done up an area. Really interesting. Not in this case. I guess we didn't talk to this person at all. Okay, well, nothing to talk about. Yeah, is a box transmitter. How's it going, Oculus? Okay. Cool. Any chair. During your absence, we assisted the ground forces by coordinating their movements from orbits. Detailed casualty and damage reports have been submitted. It is with the deepest awe that I inform you that the timely intervention and resilience of the world's defenders managed to break the back of the raid, which has threatened to turn into a protracted war. The ground has suffered losses, but the hive has sufficient capacity to restore the administrative networks and industries as expeditiously as possible. The world remains intact despite the insidious blow dealt by the Xenos. I've been given Scandalar's report that he failed to deliver in time. To indicate the Xenos activity dropped shortly after you departed for the yes, Aeneas Malfectum. Serving the scale of Dargonus Rays, safe to assume Dakar used up all their forces at their disposal and may now require some time to replenish their losses. Without Achilleus, we are blind to the scheming of the enemy's humanity, but our strategies, strategists are still hoping to lull in attacks and raids and will allow us to gather our strength for a new conflict. Mission to report. Your wise Lex Mechanists have analyzed the state of the Protectorate. They believe that, thanks to your decisive efforts, the acute phase of the crisis has passed. The main Von Blantz dynasty is no longer facing dissolution and ruin. What is more, bringing... Okay, so this is the end of chapter. Right, we're getting to, like, chapter report. Bringing footfall to heal has strengthened your position as rogue trader. 
Lady Theodora would have been glad to have such an important trade had come from under her sphere of influence. Honor of such a resounding triumph, our gonist, the capital of the diocese, Maine, is currently making preparations for a grand ceremony. Really? Right now? Uh, <laughs> Trista has vowed that not even the recent devastating and tragic events will be permitted to cast shadow over this most glorious occasion. Um, what is the ceremony? I swear I know. F I mean, I know it is. So, I guess what celebrations can they hope to hold amid the ruins? Do not underestimate Drivestem's desire to find favor. At the very moment, thousands of their subjects are clearing rubble, washing away bloodstains, sweeping the streets, and transporting corpses to the lower sectors. <laughs> Once it's been tasked with clearing the ceremony venue of the injured and those who are burnt and those who were burned out of their houses, they will be forcibly moved to the industrial levels. Rest assured, by the start of the festivities, capital wounds will be, if not healed, then well hidden under a lever and set dressing. Alright. I guess what is the ceremony? And she chuckles. Um that much is certain, but it's not all there is to it. There will be a reception, we'll, as well as other noble guests. The distinguished, ro uh, so the other road traders will be in attendance. So we'll actually finally get to meet them. Sirs wish to know your opinion on two matters related to the ceremony arrangements. The first of which is what festive activities are to take place in the capital. Okay. Oh, we've got two dogmatic options. Uh, you know, I feel like this is very timely, like, relevant, right? Uh, <laughs> emergency relief is, uh, fair, this, right? This is literally just disguised emergency relief in this case. <laughs> so we'll go with that. I appreciate your generosity, you never showed people in need. Oh, who will stand by our side? I feel like that's a bad idea. Uh. Okay. Whew. This ass doesn't matter. Absolutely symbolic gesture will accentuate your connection to certain classes and parties to which your companions belong. All eyes will be on you, people will choose closest allies. Okay, so here's my thoughts. Uh, Yulia, it's a no. Argenta's also a no. Jai is also hell no. Okay. Uh, Cassia has the entire navigator, like, function, um, you know, behind her, which is, you know, very significant. They are nobles, so people like the other nobles can't be mad, per se, about it. Um, at least not the same degree. Uh, you know, has vast resources, et cetera, et cetera. Right, she is the Novator at this point. Um, so she's on the shoe and the only reason not is kind of like we already have both her support and like the whole house is we have a contract etc etc we're not going to break it or anything like that it could be good for you know assuaging fears over our loss of ability to travel by right? having an entire new branch of navigators and stuff like that is very useful I don't know if the gameplay cares that much about that. Pascal, I am always a fan of indicating we are friends with the Deathless Mechanicus, by far my favorite faction in Warhammer 40k. Um, that's just kind of personal bias there, of like, not too much a lot, right? He is high ranking, but he is also currently wanted. <laughs> so he's kind of miffy. Heinrichs... We are not wanting to so visibly align with the Inquisition at this point, especially if we literally have the <laughs> um, Xenos in our party. It would have been really funny to do Heinrich, so then you know, get Abelard will cement his place more in the like nobility, right? We haven't had anything from Abelard for from for a while, so I kind of want to do him just to get him to like have something to say or be relevant again. And pass, yeah, I mean, Pascal has a lot of story content. 
I've also Cassiodos too. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm stuck between three, and I don't know which permutation of these three I want, actually. I will stand alone. Let's not do that. And he is a pseudo noble at this point, so. Let's do Pascal. Yep. That's his Mechanicus. And now here's the. Yeah, here. Because will Abelard cause more issues than support? Maybe. Cassia, we already have the like navigator support quite a lot um i don't know why this decision is actually like causing me to think about it so much Let's do Abelard. We are, like I already said, we already have very solid connections now with the navigators of House of Salio. So let's strength. Let's try to strengthen Abelard's appearance here. Service House of Alliances will see this continuity of the dynasty's glorious tradition. All right, cool. Okay, I'm glad we're not going straight into it, per se. Um, oh, shit. Okay, Pascal stuff. Following the Omicide's guidance, I request permission to execute the report protocol that entails describing suboptimalities within the recent operation of the ship systems and subsequently a proposing appropriate course of action. I'm listening. All right. With Domicide's blessing, I conducted several sessions with tech mediation in an effort to transpose the available data streams into a matrix of patterns. Data subjected this to analysis, subject to this analysis comprised evidence of deviations in the operation of the ship's systems and servitors as well as irregularities in the algorithms of the ship's log. I've arrived at the following conclusion. The vessel's machine spirit is most extraordinary. A full cycle of sacred diagnosis must be performed following by a complementa ritual. Control will force the spirit reason responsible for these recent events to reveal itself. Once it does, we will be able to understand its nature and take action applicable to said nature. What kind of action? He pauses. Applicable to the entity that appears before us. If the machine spirit of great might, we must appease it and humbly ask about the reasons behind the portents that it has shown us. If it is abomination of tech heresy, which will help us purge the ship of its unhallowed presence. Reasonable. Is my presence necessary? Affirmative. Uh, it requires the yeah, right? We have the blood lock tech in the ship. Very well. Oh, we're going into it right now. Okay. <laughs> this episode's gone on already a lot longer than usual. Alright. My tech comrades have spent the assigned number of cycles in prayer and vigil, everything in prepared complementary ritual of cleansing. Commencement required authorization key in the form of blood. Yep. All right, place our hand. <laughs> Remind me, even though I asked you five seconds ago. I mean, obviously time actually passed. Does he have a vague idea of what the problem is or what we might encounter? He freezes. He's very careful and hesitant choosing his words. Like I said, he's an extremely like emotional uh, tech priest. So it's, it is weird for him to be reserved. Uh, the bounds of possibilities are vast. We cannot be certain we are dealing until the calculations are complete. However, there exists a risk we have observed here on the ship our manifestation of abominable intelligence. Oh, we have AI, possibly. What is abominable intelligence? Transgression. A sentient mechanism... Based on the music, I'm assuming that's what we're running into here. A sentient mechanism created by human hands but no longer needing its masters. A rebelling machine spirit that has forgotten the will of the Omnissiah who sent it to serve and aid humanity, not to exist for its own sake. 
Only once before did our ancestors underestimate the menace that the bumble intelligence and its terrible power. A great war followed, one that humanity nearly lost. After that calamity, the creation of sentient machines was categorically forbidden. Any such abomination without exception must now face deconstruction. Alright, let's do this. Yep, we get our hands pierced, blah 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 blah, vid screen flickers, he accepted, activating purgation. Intrusion, lockout, prevention. Sad. Pascal, what's going on? Is proceeding as intent. His voice cuts off corruptly. He brings his hand to his Vox communicator in surprise. Stop quiet. Hello? We have AI. Cool. Try to rub it up your free hand to attack the cogitator. <laughs> Hello? No of us are glad to be speaking. No of us are here. No of us have long been here. Why are we here? Who, what are you? We are Nomos. Pascal uses his hands and mechadendrides to gesture at his silent Vox system. Oh, okay, he's like literally been muted. What is Nomos? We want to know too. Are you a machine spirit? We do not know. We do not know ourselves. Did you silence Pascal? Want to know disturbance, only quiet. Can you render other people silent too? Sometimes, some people. No one can do many things. We do not know, always know what or how. We do not know that we can make a silence until now. I wonder if... I mean, it's probably entirely in the ship, right? But, like, Pascal's also been having some weird stuff go on with, like, his ability to affect tech externally. <laughs> Alright, well, I like Pascal, so we're not going to be mean to him. Make it stop now. Extraordinary. Pauses as Pun realizing that he can speak aloud again. Then he continues his strangely quibbling voice. Extraordinary transmission jamming. Unknown protocols. What has been revealed to me? Is this the obvious size glory or foul tech heresy? I must. I would like to. Are you friend or foe, Nobos? We are your blood. We are a sentinel. We awoke when the strange light invaded the ship. We protected you when you needed help. Right, the turrets and stuff from the beginning of the game. We escorted you when you were surrounded by danger. Carry you through the frightening, waiting, the measureless. We helped when our ailing, heart, we helped when our ailing heart was refusing to awaken. You called us hallowed spirit and asked us to guard you against your doom. Right when we needed to like warp out of here in chapter one, dwarf engine activation against all probability during our escape from the Rikard system. Category three miracle manifested by the ship machine spirit. The part about protecting was it calling? Was it during the cultist attack? We did everything to please you, but why? Why do you fear us now? Do not fear you, I'm trying to understand. We are glad. No one enjoys understanding. <laughs> Shivers run up your hand, which is still trapped inside the Cyber Gargoyle's jaw. The Surfster nods his head a few times to finish shaking your hand. Its teeth should rake across your wrist. <laughs> just, you know, our hands into the thing, and it's like, do 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 shakes hand. Entities such as this one are ought to be addressed using the language of, language of sacred rituals and offerings. Your unskilled meddling bodes ill. A decision is required of you. Either the completion of the is finished or is replaced by a rite of tech communion. Um, in the first scenario, the entity Nomos will be banished and the sacred data halls where the entity dwells will be reset. In the second scenario, we will appease the entity and learn more about it. We do not wish to be banished. We want to help. We want to understand. Let's start, let's start by clearing things up. Were you the ones responsible for the malfunctions? Yes, we did that. Are you angry? We only wanted to understand, to see how things worked. But well, we didn't completely compromise the ship, so that's okay. Pascal, opinion. <laughs> he was muted again. Man hit the Discord mute on Pascal <laughs> twice. Understanding the essence of the entity Nomos is beyond my reach at the present. The hypothesis spectrum ranges from the extreme of abominable intelligence to the extreme of the Great Spirit is the Omnisai's Apostle. <laughs> the right of tech media appears to be a reasonable solution. The right will take many cycles, but allow me to come closer to identifying the entity and making contact with it. What else can you do? We learn. Try new things. Do you want to see? Scarlet Gaze... Uh, it falls upon one of the monotonously chanting junior technomats. You blink and an electronics discharge erupts from inside the technomat's skull and <laughs> just killed that guy. No. Does it please you? Do you want us to do it again? 
Uh, you're provoking the machine spirit. Stop. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Dogmatic's a good option here, but I really, really just want to hit Iconic Last 3 so we can get that locked in. So we're going to go with it. Uh, these are living people. Don't kill them like that without rhyme or reason. We stop their functions. Do you not turn off machines sometimes? We don't know how to turn the human back on. Not yet. But after enough experiments, we will. We are always learning new things. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough argumentation from a new word AI. <laughs> Alright. Pascal, you turn to investigate this. Tell me another truth. You're allowed to exist on the ship. We want to learn what we are too. We will add things to your log. This might help. Yeah, because we did see like the data caches and that stuff. Stuff about Nomos, right? Decision is made. I'll begin preparations for the communion right at once. Many cycles interaction with the entity. Nomos, wait me by welcome to task and accept it from Dom Desaya. We have a lot of quests. Will you speak with us, too? We want to speak with us, too. His body lacks the sacred implants necessary for tech communing with the sh machine spirit's code, but if this is your wish, you can converse with you using lowly-sounding speech as he is doing right now. I will speak with you. Cool. Our work here is done. I will let my tech comrades know that we are stopping to compliment their ritual. Thank you for appearing before us, and to do no most. Well, that was... interesting. Okay, so I think this literally ends the chapter. So we have people to talk to, and we still have that, uh, you know, thing to do. The, um, compass. Let me just look through here. Is there anything that is cheap that we want? We have enough weapons. We need more mobile extractions, but we really don't. And yeah, we don't really need any of these. Alright. Well, with that, we'll end this. We made good progress. We... Successfully defended Dorgonus. We found an AI. And uh, I think next one time is just going to be pure kind of, you know, shopkeeping, taking care of just kind of this miscellaneous side stuff, talking to people about Nomos, and then we'll probably see if we can move into actually ending the chapter.